I went to prison for 25, 25 years. I had a, a 25 year life bed. And uh, in 1986, my wife came up on the trailer visit. And uh, I didn't know at the time that she had HIV to later on in, in the, the bit. Well, in 18 years, I got sick. And I felt, well, let me go for a physical because uh, I felt like I had the flu. So I went and uh, had a physical. The nurse asked me did I ever take a HIV test. And I told her, listen, I've been in prison 18 years. There's no possible way I, I could have it. Well, I took the test anyway, and three weeks later, she called me to her office. She started crying, and I asked her what she was crying about. And she told me, well, this is the hardest job, uh, uh, the hardest job I have is letting you know that the test you took, you came back positive. Well, I found out, like I said, 18 years later, which was 2003, and thank God that she spoke to me about it because I would have never took it. And I'm glad I did because I wouldn't be here right now. And uh, I took the test and it came back positive. I was kind of depressed for about two or three weeks. I spoke to a doctor, HIV doctor, and he told me that, uh, listen, the medication they have out now, you would die of old age before this medication, before HIV would hit you. And it brought me up because it made me feel better. Because like I said, I've been in prison since 1985. I worked in a hospital and I dealt with a lot of AIDS patients. Back then, they were dying like flies. So I was kind of worthy, but I met a guy that had HIV for 25 years and he looked healthy. He worked out, he did the right thing. He was taking his medication every day. And I said, well, I think I could live with it. So I let, you know, I didn't think about it. I lived day by day. And I didn't think I would ever get out of prison. Like I said, I had 25 to life. But I felt if I could deal with the 25 years, I could deal with whatever's coming to me. You know, thank God. He was watching over me, gave me another chance out in the street. I came home after 25 years. And uh, when I left prison, they didn't, have, they didn't give me no medication. I didn't know who to go to. But I went to uh, ARSAC because I, I found the phone number that somebody gave me. I called them up. They helped me out. And then they sent me to Hudson River uh, help, uh, and uh, they they helped me a lot. You know, I've been uh, going there for quite a while now. I enjoy it because they 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 talk to you, they let you know what's going on, and I go to different groups, and I like to open up because I like to share my story with other people. And like I said, people, you know, they don't know if they have it or if they don't have it, but I, I say, you know, take the test. Because, like I said, if that nurse didn't ask me to take that test, I would've never took it, I wouldn't be here right now.